Antonio, what do you know? This is Rabbit of Scrub Lead Academy, and we are back in Dito today, and we're going to be doing a little bit of something different today. So, I've decided I'm going to head off and do one of my favorite dungeons today. I don't think I picked up the quest, but that's a pretty easy thing to fix. There we go, we have our quest, and I am actually on my ranger today, so this ought to be a really interesting one. So I think we can handle Reaper on this. Anyway, this is one of my favorite quests in the entire game, Assault on Summerfield. It's an incredibly interesting one, because it actually has a lot to do... It, it basically brings you into the plot, is really what I like about it. And it really makes you feel like you're actually a part of something bigger, which is not something that is very common in my experience with Dito. So I always kind of liked it. I just wanted to show off one of these characters here. And this one's my archer... And he is not hitting that guy, but usually he does a lot more damage than that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap over to my damage aura. There we go. Much better. All right, so we at least have the capacity to heal ourselves in this. And they're coming through over there, which makes it a lot easier to deal with. And where I was standing, apparently I wasn't able to target anything. But geez, wow. I don't usually get crushed this hard in here. That's really unfortunate. I feel like I'm a little outgunned here. There we go. Starting to come into our own a little bit. This is, this is working out pretty well. I don't actually like fighting around these Storm Rage guards, because they always interrupt your target. Alright, so let's just shoot into the ether here. We're eventually going to hit the stuff that we want to hit. The targeting right here is bad, but this is a pretty ideal location for trying to get rid of things. Oh my goodness, the targeting is really, really bad in Summerfield. I didn't remember this. Get him out of here! No! My hit chance is not working out well. This has been a while since I played this guy. And they got rid of that guy over there, so very neat. Things should start to get a little easier from here. Interesting, I didn't realize this was an area they couldn't handle. Alright, so the drum assault is now done, yep. Ah, Captain Marcus is still alright. See, everything worked out. The other guards are dead, uh, except for those that coward sitting over there. But yeah, everybody else is fine. Alright, so we could basically just range down everything here. Ah, uh, I can't hit him. But I can hit him. Think smart. There we go. That's all we gotta do, is just think smart. I know we can kill them from a range, and I know it's not gonna take us anything, so we might as well just get away with that. And now we have access to the rest of them. I'll just hit that guy up. Wow. He died before the many shot, jeez. Alright. Drome Kobolds. Not super dangerous, not too concerned. I feel like I might have brought in more than one there. Oh, there's a guy. Let's get him. So we're pretty easily cleaning these guys up now. This is kind of the element that I was hoping for. That close quarter stuff, that just doesn't work for me. There we go. Get rid of them. Destroy every one of them. Yep, easy mode. I'm going to leave those guards. They got themselves into their own mess. So we've got three left. It's not actually all that difficult. Oh, come on. Climb the ladder. All right, so where do we want to hit them? We can kill that guy. We can get that one right there. Oh, no, we hit that guy. No. Well, we got some more crowns down there, then I'll just clean them up. Yeah, he's just a pandemonium. He isn't that concerning. And there we go. Oh, no, there we go. All right, so we got the drone assault. So now we can just head right back to where we came from. And there we go. The Sallyport flankers were just a diversion. The real assault is begun. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward. There we go. Oh, we got our first pile of remnants. Nice. Let's grab those. And that's our big boss man right there. So he is, he knows that we're here, those casters. I'm going to let them go in first. I'm going to let them go in. Uh... Maybe we can pick them off first, actually. That might be a good idea. Ah, we were so close. Here, come over here, you. Come over here. Yes! Excellent. So that was one huge, huge threat down. All right, now we got to just take out that big guy right there. 8,400 HP. That's pretty chunky for this level. <sighs> All right, let's start going for it. And, nope, so he'll be coming in from behind, approaching from the rear as they do. And where's the other guy? Why are you there? Okay, this is a little better. So we're actually doing pretty well here because we got ourselves a nice position to actually attack from. Whittle him right down here. Get some many shots in. Get another. Drop that on him. And just kind of avoid everything. And that's it. Right there. Yeah, not concerned at all. This is actually a pretty decent spot to arch from. And the rest of them are infantry, it seems. Infantry are easy to take out. Oh, not if they deflect. Gone. All right. Straightforward, super easy. That's our chest, but do we have people over there still? Nope, they came in. And we're still in combat, so... Oh no, Plague Reaper! 
Ooh! Oh, you sneaky bastard! Oh, that wasn't too bad, though. That wasn't too bad. No! More! Damn it! Alright, alright, where are the rest of them? Okay. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Let's go for it. Alright. Did I just get shot at by an arrow? Alright, you know what? I'm leaving. We're done. We're done. Managed to get through it. That's all that really matters. We are out of here. Let's go, go, go. Well, that was a fun ending to that one. But I still kind of like that dungeon. I still think it's really fun. Anyway, this was just a quick video. Just something to fill the time up a little bit. Keep the content going. I've got something coming out tomorrow, though, that I think you guys will really enjoy. And it should be pretty fascinating. I've seen this asked a lot on the forums, but I haven't actually seen it represented very well in, at least in a YouTube sense. I've seen a few people using certain formats for this thing, this this special nebulous X that I've got building, but I've never seen it represented in a YouTube video. I've never seen it actually given the center stage or the big screen or whatever you want to call it. So I think that this thing will be pretty interesting to go into. I kind of like veering into territory for things that I would be searching for that I haven't seen yet, so I hope that you guys really enjoy it. And I'll have that for you tomorrow, but as for today, um... Oh, geez, I hope that nobody can hear that lawnmower is going off in the background. Anyway, if you enjoyed this content, please drop a like and share this video everywhere you can. If you didn't, then still pulverize that like button and drop a comment. You know it helps the YouTube algorithm. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.